Okay. okay. Good afternoon. Call this uh, meeting of the Salina Heritage Commission to order. Uh, we don't have any minutes to approve, so we'll move on to the new business. Item 3.1. Application CA 19-2, filed by Jones Gillum Renz Architects on behalf of the Stiefel Theater for the Performing Arts, requesting the approval of a certificate of appropriateness to allow the repair and rehabilitation of damaged brick and terracotta on the exterior walls and the reconstruction of the top tiers of the historic tower of the Stiefel Theater. The subject property is legally described as lot 133, less than north seven and a half inches and all of Lots 135 and 137 on Santa Fe, original town of Salinas, Saline County, Kansas, addressed at 151 South Santa Fe. John, you got the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair, board members. John's getting everything done. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. I need to respectfully respectfully recluse myself from all discussion and voting on this project. Yes, sir. Since, <laughs> since, since, I don't know if I can do that <laughs> since I'm an employee of the Steeple okay. Theater. I probably that, that's don't fine. need to be involved. Thank you. You bet. Shut that door. So they're, they're not going to do, it doesn't look like they're going to. Yes. Do uh, on this, uh, this is a very familiar building to most residents of Salina, as well as those who are interested in historic preservation. Uh, this is the uh, Stiefel Theater that was constructed in, in 1931 uh, by the Baller Brothers Architects and with the help of Winfield Watson, a noted Salina businessman. Uh, the building's exterior features floral and vegetable terracotta paddles, reminiscent of Louis Sullivan and the textured brick facade. These de details also enter into the lobby areas and auditorium of, of the theater. Uh, the theater ceased operation by Dickinson's movies in 1987, and the city acquired the vacant structure in 1989. They uh, replaced the roof on that and mothballed the st vacant structure until 1997, when a nonprofit organization, the Historic Fox Theater of Salinas Foundation, took ownership. A, a successful fundraising campaign took place for the theater re renovation that ended in 2003 with a theater opening in March of 2003. During the um, fundraising period there, the Steeple Theater received rehabilita rehabilitation tax credits from the SHPO in 2002 for funding that exterior renovation. These include refinishing of the original stenciling, color scheme, stage proscenium, uh, and And uh, take that up, the uh, fundraising campaign that ended in uh, 2002 uh, restored a lot of the interior features as well as exterior features. Uh, the and there was a uh, box office marquee that was placed on the theater that closely resembled the 1931 uh, Fox Watson sign. Unfortunately, uh, in uh, 2002, sufficient funds were not available to restore the box office tower, and um, the tower was stabilized in its current condition, but the theater board of directors noted on all their documents that they intended to restore the tower when funding became available. Uh, monies were generated recently by the city of Salina and Salina's 2020 group, and these funds were allocated to the Steeple Theater to invest in various improvements to enhance the interior and uh, the exterior of the building. Uh, these included funds to provide additional bathroom facilities, a remodeled Watson room, a stage and backstage improvements. And as part of the downtown streetscape project, the city replaced the original auditorium exit stairs along Walnut Street that did not meet handicapped access. The Steeple Theater has received a donation to rebuild the original box office tower that was uh, damaged by a storm in the 1950s and the theater is proceeding with the brick and terracotta repair on the auditorium walls. The real addition projects would qualify for the 
state rehabilitation tax credit program. Uh, this would provide a, a, a funding of, of capital for roughly 25% of rehabilitation activities that are approved by the State Preservation Office. Um, the effect of the theater's designation on the historic register is that uh, Salina, as a uh, certified local government uh, with the National Park Service, can review uh, projects affecting National Register properties, and uh, these can keep the local review on these properties local, which often improves the timeline of those. Uh, the Harris Mission is authorized by that certified local government agreement to review all local projects that affect listed historic properties in Salina. Those are on the National and State Register. Uh, the State of Kansas did have an environs review clause on the State Preservation Act that also had a protective review for properties within 500 feet of a National Register structure. This uh, review was uh, struck, uh, struck down in 2013 and that review no longer takes place. As we uh, step through the, the slides here, um, uh, this shows the, the theater from various angles. The, the work proposed today would be uh, patching and repair of the auditorium walls, also the uh, repair of the upper tier of the existing uh, theater structure, as well as the addition of a, a new tier and a uh, aluminum pinnacle that would rise uh, above this area here. And, and those will be shown in our architectural drawings. Um, but the theater itself uh, does have repairs necessary, and these are, are ready to proceed. And this is the auditorium wall in the west where there has been some spalling brick, and uh, there is a cementious coating or a paint co coating on that. And that was last treated in, in, uh, uh, around 12 years ago, and these retreating. Uh, there, there are some irrigation brick damage on the tower itself. And we can get, uh, go one more picture. And this will show the, uh, the, the tower reversed this as a, a paint coating as well. Um, and this, this base area here, uh, a temporary covering was put on that until it could be restored. In our next slides, we'll have other views of the theater. Uh, this is the auditorium's uh, east wall at the roof line in the stage house. Uh, one more photo. And this shows the, the stage house on the east wall from the, from the uh, uh, northeast. And it shows additional spalling and, and uh, irrigation of mortar and, and bricks. Um, the theater tower was uh, originally taller than uh, it is right now. And uh, it featured an additional tier of step brick and the terracotta necessary. And, and this was capped with the metal pinnacle. So this upper 26 feet, five inches of the tower uh, was removed in the 1950s and is going to be restored under the present restoration plan. Uh, this plan for the rehabilitation of the, the Fox Theater. Did we get to the steeple theater? It's the middle. This works the middle. And rather than the staff uh, going and uh, through all the uh, planned rehabilitation activities, um, what we'll be referring to the, the architectural plans that was developed by Jones, Gill, and Renz for the brick restoration and uh, the uh, reconstruction of the, the masonry tower on that. Um, and we do have the applicant here today, but we did want to uh, note that through the application plans, uh, the Heritage Mission would review those under the Secretary of Interior Standards for Rehabilitation. And uh, compliance with those standards is required for rehabilitation projects on the state or federal uh, programs. Um, and the Steeple Theater is going to apply for a state rehabilitation tax credit on, on these proposed improvements. The standards that would appear to comply to the masonry repair are that uh, uh, number two, the removal of historic materials or alterations of features and spaces that characterize a property sh shall be avoided. Distinctive features, finishes, and construction techniques or craftsmanship that characterize a property shall be preserved. Uh, deteriorate historic features will be repaired rather than replaced. 
except where they're, they are missing and then the replacement should have of a distinctive feature uh, should match the old in design, color, and texture, and that new additions or extra alterations, even related new construction, will not destroy historic materials or spatial relationships of the, the property. Uh, the Fox Theater, the Steeple Theater, has received a notice from uh, the State Preservation Office that the proposed scope of work submitted with the rehabilitation tax credit application appears to meet the interior standards for preservation, and uh, they're encouraging the, the applicants to uh, submit part three of the tax rehab application when the project is complete. We, you do have uh, four options here today after hearing from the applicant uh, to approve the certificate partners based on staff suggested findings that the activities will conform to the Secretary of Interior standards. Uh, you could approve that subject to conditions agreed upon by the board. Uh, you could postpone the application if you require additional information from uh, the applicant. Uh, you, you could deny the certificate appropriateness application, although there is an appeal process through the City Commission. Under staff's recommendation, uh, the applicant has completed, uh, submitted a complete set of architectural plans and design specifications for the proposed work to clean, repoint the masonry and mortar, and to protect and reinstate the masonry uh, features of the tower uh, and uh, the terracotta units. And these will uh, require any new uh, brick or terracotta that is damaged to be replaced and um, this is, is des described fully in the specifications for the, the property here. Uh, we do have the applicant here today uh, that, who, who could address any questions you might have as we step through the, the drawings. Uh, those were in small form when you saw those in, in your packet. And uh, uh, Ms. Gillen would be glad to answer any questions you might have. Are there any questions of staff? Hearing none, I'll take on the applicant. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I am Maggie Gillum. Yeah, <laughs> introduce yourself. Please. Yeah, Maggie Gillum with Jones Gillum Renz Architects. Um, I don't know that I have much more to add. John did a great job explaining it. Um, I did bring with me the approval letter from the State Historic Preservation Office. If anybody needs to look at that. Um, as John said, basically we've submitted and they've already approved us to start work. And so now we're just going through kind of the city of Salinas portion of that so that we can uh, get a set ready to submit for permit and start building. So uh, um, our plan is to have the tower appear as if it was never struck by lightning and never removed. So to have it look identical to what was there in 1940. Yeah. I got a couple of questions, especially about the, the brick and whatnot. How are you able to recreate that to look like the original brick? Well, we'll a lot of, we work with uh, several brick companies in the Kansas area that are actually very good at recreating that look. They can come out on site. They can evaluate what's there. They can bring in brick and figure out what they can match it with. Um, we've done this on several projects before, and it usually turns out pretty good. I, you know, there's no guarantee that we can find something that's identical. Um, so we're just going to do our best to find something that's going to match and look nice. And, and I'm reading about these terracotta pieces and there's several different options. Can you explain those? Right. So terracotta is very, very pricey and uh, could be very difficult to try to match exactly what's there now. So some of the other options that we presented to the state were uh, cast stone or um, a fiberglass panel that they can actually come out on site and create molds of what's there and then um, create new pieces that are identical to what's there. It's just a different type of material and less expensive usually. Have you considered um, using some kind of 3D modeling? Have 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 uh, 3D modeling photographs taken of the terracotta, and then have those. Um, haven't quite gotten that far in the <laughs> the recreation process of the terracotta. Um, we have done 3 3D modeling before in the past, and it is very very pricey. Um, so uh, we'll we'll explore the options and see what's going to be best to try to recreate the pieces that are there um, and and go from there. <laughs> 
How did you, did, are the original architectural plans available? For yes, the we have those at our office um, and they're, they're very well detailed. I think, John, we, we did some copies in this set. I want to say one more sheet. Wow. Yeah, yeah so yeah. those are the original taken directly from the original uh, drawing. So as you can see, we have a lot of really great detail that we can work off of. Um, we've already been working with our structural engineer, who's Jim Manley, um, in trying to recreate that. Of course, it won't be built interior won't be built exactly the same as it was built just because construction techniques have mm -hmm. improved over time and so we're we're going to use something more up to date than what they would have used but uh, at, yeah as you can see that the pieces are detailed well uh, we've gone into detail already with how to build the aluminum uh, tier part of it um, we're we're pretty much just down to designing some of the electrical for the lighting and ready so to submit at that point. What color will that be, the aluminum? Um, that's a good question. Because there are no color photographs of the originals. Right. We, yeah, and we actually don't even know what that was, uh, what and metal the, that, that was even constructed of because there, it doesn't actually say anywhere on the drawings what that is. So uh, we've, we've gone with aluminum because that's uh, the most cost effective and most easiest to build with. Um, I would assume that that would be kind of a, it's not going to be super shiny if that's what you're thinking, like something really no, shiny. It's going to be more of a, of a dulled, a dulled aluminum color, but, well, yeah, but like a silver. Silver. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if it wasn't a painted uh, tan of some kind. It might have been. <laughs> um, I did have, I think I sent you over, John, some, just now, earlier, some historic, we have historic renderings that are in color, mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, there was one, I think I stuck one in there that was in color. But I think a, a dull gray or aluminum would be a bit jarring. I mean, it's definitely a lighter color. You can tell it's much lighter than the building. Well, I, I'm not, well, can you go back to that last image? That one. That one shows it's darker, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think we're open to exploring options on what that piece is because we don't exactly know what it was, what color it was, or what it was made of. Uh, we know it was... A metal of some kind. That's about all the drawings say is that it was a metal tier. Maybe we maybe we could um, crowdsource this and get some people who m remember the tower. Maybe we could ask people what their memories of of the color were. Mm. Uh, we we have uh, verified items with them before, and uh, they're they're getting uh, quite old now. But there there may still be some individuals who have some recollection. Well, not, not that old. I mean, we're talking uh, people in their 70s, maybe. Yeah, 1930s and after that. Yeah. Well, it was up, it was there till 54, so. I know there's a Facebook page about old Swan, and they have a lot of photographs available on that. So is that a lightning rod on top? Uh, I your guess is as good as mine. Well, but, <laughs> it didn't work very well it if it was. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a radio antenna. Uh, yeah, are you planning to put a, a lightning round? We are some planning kind? to research our options for lightning because we know that that's, that might be a problem. Maybe maybe include a, a probe out, the, out of the top that would... Mm -hmm. We'll definitely look into those options. Mm. So I'm guessing then, I didn't see it, but specifically, but uh, the glass in the tower, will that be repaired as necessary as well? Uh, the glass pieces that are broken will be repaired. We are looking at an alternate to completely replace those windows. Um, it was not something that was thought of prior to sending our submittal to the state. So if we do go that route, we'll have to probably resubmit that to them to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, but it is an alternate as of now to replace the windows. 
Um, and because right now they're they're painted and they're boarded boarded mm -hmm. up on the back side, um, and there's nothing in that tower. So there's been some discussion of um, redoing the frames, bringing in new translucent glass so that we can actually put lighting in that tower. That would be cool. Any else, no. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. I don't see any interested citizens. So any uh, additional comments or anything? Do you have to add to any of this, John? Um, the, the applicant in the case will, is planning to uh, hire Mid-Continental Restoration out of Fort Scott in Pittsburgh area. And uh, they did perform uh, the outside uh, type pointing and repair approximately 12 years ago on, on the theater. So they're, they're quite apt at this particular type of project. They've done work on the Masonic Temple as well as the First Christian Church uh, down in the downtown, First United Methodist Church, yes. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll bring uh, this public portion to a close and bring the uh, discussion back to the commission. I'd be willing to take any comments anybody wants to make. I think we're ready for a motion. Now. Well, I'm I'm still I'm still concerned about the color of the the spire, but I, I'm looking at this and I'm guessing that that there's a there, the two color scheme with the brick and the terracotta, and I'm going to guess that the tower was probably closer to the terracotta in color than anything else. Maybe like a gold color. Uh, well, this dull tan. That's that would be my that would be my best you know guess as to what it might have been. So I that'd be helpful to find any photographs of that. Yeah, but I'm but but given that that that's those are the highlights of it. That's uh, my guess is that what's that's what the architect would have would have had, and I'm guessing that's what was there. But and from Looking at black and white photographs, uh, I don't think that was aluminum. I think it was or, or gray. I think it was a, a, a light tan. But I, you know, and without a color photograph, and I don't have <coughs> definitive proof of that. But yeah, it would be hard to, to duplicate. The original pinnacle was probably covered with some alternate material, maybe uh, iron or some type or of, of. Yeah, and and that would have to be painted uh, to keep from oxidizing. Uh, so there might have been some color variation there, and. We certainly try to, to pin that down further as we go along. Because yeah. the original was made of iron or steel? Uh, well, the, the uh, uh, bracing itself, the interior bracing was probably uh, iron yeah. and uh, with the steel exterior, that, that's more typical of that time period, 1931. Um, and often to keep those from, from oxidizing, there was a, a color palette they chose. Dan, you had something? Any motions? I'll move. That uh, application CA 19-2, uh, that we recommend to the City Commission the Certificate of Appropriateness for the project. Is that under option two? Uh, with staff I thought it was condition? one. Okay. Second case, to the motion. We, we'd be referring that to the state preservation office. So, We're not to the city commission. Uh, that is, that's for designations. Uh, in this case, it goes from this body to the state preservation office in in relationship to the rehabilitation tax credit. So, okay. it, uh, it doesn't require city commission uh, so approval as well. I'll need to change my motion to reflect that. Note the changes in the motion. Is there a second? I second. Moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Other than I might concern about the color of the of the material. Uh, is there a way to amend? Is there a friendly friendly addendum to the amendment that can be made? No. It's all right with me. 
If he, he's friendly to it. We'll you second the amendment? I second that. Okay, been uh, as amended. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I believe that concludes our business for the day. Uh, unless somebody has something else, we're adjourned. Take a real close look at that picture. I bet it was gold. As much gold as there is. Well, yeah. possibly. As, yeah. much as, as much gold as there is underneath. Yeah. Well, underneath the, yeah. underneath the marquee. And